Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a really short video on how to set up your anti-grav script and also how to set up pretty much any other script in Dual Universe. Now, uh, this is perfect for me because I don't know anything about coding, but uh, I can still pull this off, so anyway, uh, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start by uh, showing everybody how to set up the, the anti-grav script. The script that I'm going to use for this is the, uh, the touchscreen script, and it's going to be in the description. However, there's, uh, there's other scripts that you can use as well. And the, the method is the same for setting those up, of course. So, uh, with the anti-grav specifically, the first thing you want to do is link the anti-grav um, to all your pulsers. And I already have all 12 of mine linked, um, but I unlinked this one just for demonstration. So you can just click like that and it'll link to the pulsers. And you should have all 12 linked. Keep in mind that the medium anti-grav needs its 12 pulsers, the small anti-grav needs its 6 pulsers, um, and the large is unused, right? And then also a pro tip, you can actually backspace for my window specifically without deleting the link. So that's the easiest way to um, to uh, to link things, especially if the thing you're linking to is encapsulated. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep that there. But anyway, the next step that uh, you're going to want to do, so you're going to need for the uh, for this script in, um, in particular, you will need your programming board, a screen, obviously the anti-grav, um, and then the core to link to, right? So the first thing you want to do is just take your... Uh, your programming board, link it to the screen, link the programming board to the anti-grav, yeah, it's fine, and then link the programming board to your core, mine's back here, I think this will work, uh, yeah, okay, now that message I got is because I had the, uh, the script loaded on this earlier, um, alright, anyway, so, uh, now the next thing you're going to want to do, I'm going to go ahead and alt tab to my GitHub, um, so in the GitHub that's linked in the description, there you go, just switch the recording. Um, there's a .json option, and let me just go back and you can look at it. So right here, the, this .json, you're going to want to click on that, and uh, just go ahead and copy all of the, um, just go ahead and copy all of the, uh, the code from this .json file. So I'm going to select it all, maybe there's an easier way to do this that I don't know about. Control C, and now I'm going to go back to DU, like so. And uh, I'm just going to right-click this programming board, and then paste the lure configuration from Flipboard, and then I can turn it on. Um, let's see if this will work. Activate, and there we go. And that's that's just how that's just how easy this is to do. Um, and the the same method works for pretty much any other script that has a JSON as an option. Even if you wanted to load like a HUD onto your seat, you can just right-click the seat and then uh, paste the lure configuration from Flipboard. Um, anyway, hopefully this was helpful and you guys learned something. Let me know if there's any questions. Feel free to post those in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys later.